Burning mouth syndrome is a condition where there is a burning, raw, tingling sensation in the mouth and the oral mucosa, and there's no obvious clinical appearance. It commonly occurs on the tongue, the palate, the gums, generally the whole mouth can be affected. Sometimes it's also accompanied by a bitter or unpleasant taste. There are usually no mucosal lesions or spots or anything on the mucosa to explain the symptoms. Women are seven times more likely to be affected than men. Generally speaking, it can affect around 3% of adults and around 15% of women who are postmenopausal. The prevalence is more common with age, especially after the age 55, and it's more commonly affecting Asians and Native Americans. We can classify burning mouth syndrome into three different types. Type 2 is most common. So type 1, symptoms are not present when you wake up, but they increase throughout the day. Type 2 is where symptoms are present when you wake up and throughout the day. And type 3, there is no regular pattern, it can be intermittent and at random intervals. The key symptoms of burning mouth syndrome include mucosal pain, burning sensation at the dorsum of the tongue, irritated feeling in the mouth, a tingling sensation, dysgeusia, which is an altered taste in the mouth, and dysesthesia, where you get these abnormal sensations. Burning mouth syndrome may also have other associations with it, like dry mouth, which is otherwise known as gerostomia, thirst, it can be present alongside irritable bowel syndrome, it could be present with anxiety, depression, and also in those who have a decreased appetite. Factors which may make burning mouth syndrome worse include speaking, acidic or spicy foods, fatigue, and even certain minty toothpastes that you may be using. Things which may help include eating and drinking, topical anaesthetics or anaesthetic mouth rinses, distracting yourself and cold food and drinks. Burning mouth syndrome can be divided into primary and secondary cases. So primary means you just have the symptoms of burning mouth syndrome alone. And secondary is when you have burning mouth syndrome symptoms due to another medical condition. The exact cause of burning mouth syndrome is unknown. So to diagnose burning mouth syndrome, you have to make sure first that you don't have any of the following issues. So that could be any mucosal disease, it could be fungal infections, iron deficiency, vitamin B12 or a folate deficiency, dry mouth or kerostomia, menopausal symptoms, acid reflux or diabetic neuropathy, because all of those conditions can cause these symptoms of burning sensations in the mouth. If you don't have those symptoms, as I said, the cause of burning mouth syndrome is unknown, but it's been suspected to be maybe something to do with the salivary gland not working properly. Uh, it could be a psychiatric disorder. So in cases of OCD, anxiety, depression, it can be a complication from taking certain medications like ACE inhibitors. It could be due to some chronic low-grade trauma in the mouth, which is causing the irritation. Or it could be an allergic disorder or a hormone imbalance. So the cause isn't exactly known, and in cases of primary burning mouth syndrome, there's no known cure. So any treatment is based on treating the symptoms. So treatment options may include saliva replacement products, artificial sprays or, or lozenges which you can suck on, specific oral rinses or lidocaine as a topical anesthetic which can cause numbness which can help relieve the pain, Capsaicin, which is a pain reliever that comes from chili peppers, if that's applied topically that may help. Alpha lipoic acid is an antioxidant and studies suggest it may help to relieve nerve pain. There is a medication which is used to control seizures and that's called clonazepam. There's been certain successes when using that. Certain antidepressants if the cause is due to a psychiatric condition. Generally medications which block nerve pain do help if you take those regularly and if the cause is again due to some kind of psychiatric condition, for example due to anxiety or depression, cognitive behavioural therapy has been known to help, to help deal with the stress and cope with the ongoing pain. In cases of secondary burning mouth syndrome, remember we said the symptoms are happening because of another medical condition. So treating that medical condition, whether it's the thrush or fungal infections in the mouth or whether it's down to diabetic neuropathy, treating those medical conditions should help to relieve symptoms of secondary burning mouth syndrome.
So we've made it to the end of the video. Leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it to the end. If you have any questions about burning mouth syndrome, leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe on this video and thank you for watching.